Shalom. This is your brother Tazaya Amar of GMS Valdosta, Georgia. Coming out again with another weekly lesson, and I pray that it be edifying. But first of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rikakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS for giving us the true knowledge of these scriptures. I want to say Shalom and a heart to all the sisters and brothers that are striving in this same true doctrine. Shalom. The lesson today is about deliverance. You know, we we that are sincere about you know what we teach and preach. We're ready to come out of this captivity. As in the words of a lady named Fanny Lou Hammer, we are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And my first scripture is going to be the book of Psalms, chapter 50, starting at verse 14. Offer unto the Most High thanksgiving, and pay their vows unto the Most High. You know, the Most High is telling us, look, be thankful. You know, we, and we got a lot to be thankful for. You know, the Most High have made his salvation available to us. And the only thing we got to do is seek him out. And that's basically what uh, he asking us to do. And pay that vow unto the Most High. And how do you pay your vows? By keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. That is how we pay our vows. You know, we we made a covenant with the Most High, and we went back on it. So now it's time to come back and try to keep these law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. You know, that's often brought out that, you know, we we still in our captivity, so there's certain things that we can't keep to the letter. But in the kingdom, hey, it's going to be in our inward pause and we will never be able to sin again. All praises to you. How will God show me I was shy for that? Psalm chapter 50, verse 15. And call upon him in the day of trouble. Hey, we'll be able to call upon him when we're going through different situations. If we're keeping these law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, hey, the Most High will hear our prayer. It's the sin of prayer he do not hear. And he made a promise. He said, I will deliver thee. Had the Most High spoken and did not come to pass. And thou shalt glorify me. Hey, and we glorify him by giving praises and thanks to him for his deliverance. For allowing his only begotten son, hey, to be murdered on our behalf. And it vexes it vex me in my spirit when I think about what the Yahweh Shah had to go through. You know, as he was hanging on that cross. That's, that should be enough right there for everyone, for everybody to want to turn back and uh, just give up this wicked society and come back to our power. With that being said, I'm going to move to the book of Fresh Timothy. First Timothy chapter 6, starting at verse 10. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, starting at verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covered after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. As the scriptures say, the love of money is the root of all evil. And some people covet money they money has become they 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 are 
their their power, their gods, and to uh, to obtain a certain amount of money, they willing to turn their back on the Most High, knowing that hey, the wages of sin are death, but they ch they choose death over deliverance. First Timothy chapter six verse eleven. But thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things. Hey, we will. We have shedded the old man and picked it up this new man. Because we choose life over death, and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. All of these things are the pathway to salvation, for, to deliverance. Hey, living in righteousness, living a godly life, having faith, love, patience, meekness. Verse 12, fight the good fight of faith. What is the good fight of faith? Hey, stand rooted and grounded. Lay hold on eternal life. Now, don't forget, you know, the goal. You know, what's at the finish line? Hey, we want eternal life. Where until thou art also called it and has professed it, a good profession before many witnesses. And look, as we out there on them hedges and byways and highways, hey, we are professing that, hey, if we come back to all of these law, statutes, and commandments, that the Most High will deliver us. And we, we're striving to do our best to, to be delivered. And with that, I'm going to move to the book of First Timothy chapter 6, verse 13. I give thee charge in the sight of the Most High, who quickens all things, and before Yahweh for my shot, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession. And what was that good confession that Yahweh you know, professed before Pontius Pilate? Um, and the answer is in. Uh, St. John St. John 19 verse 10 the book of St. John chapter 19 verse 10 then says Pilate unto him speaks of thou not unto me nor is thou not that I have power to crucify thee and have power to release thee and your how shall I answer? That couldest have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from the above. Therefore, he that delivers me unto thee has the greater sin. This is your how shall I tell him, Pilate, that, hey, you just a, a pawn on the chessboard. You doing what the Most High has commanded you to do. You doing his will. And if and if it was his will for you to take my life, so be it. If it wasn't, I wouldn't even be here. He wouldn't even been there. And with that, I'm going to move to the book of Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 4. Chapter 4 and verse 18. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 18. And the Most High shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Let me read that again. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 18. 
and the Most High shall deliver me from every evil work. So that means whatever these devils get ready to throw at us, you know, we know um, FEMA camps or been, you know, furbished, martial law, um, It's all all manner of wickedness, M O T B. All these things are going to be thrown at us, but the Most High said He should deliver us from every evil work. So hey, if we continue to endure and, and uh, stay rooted and grounded in these law, statutes, and commandments. Hey, we have nothing to worry about. And with that, I'm going to move to the book of Psalms, chapter 31. Psalm chapter 31, and start at verse 1. And this is a, a song of David to the chief musician, a song of David. In thee, O Yahweh, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. And what is his righteousness? Is us keeping these law, statutes, and commandments. You know. To the best of our ability. If we keep those law, statutes, and commandments. And stay rooted and grounded. And faith. We will be delivered. Psalm chapter 31, verse 2. Bow down thine ear to me. That means the Most High is telling you, hey, take heed to what he's telling you. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for an house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Hey, as the old saying say, hey, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Hey, we putting all our soul, heart, and mind into the most high, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Verse 4. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me. For that are my strengths. And what are those things that are laid privily for us? MOTB, FEMA camp, martial law, and the list goes on. There's a lot of things that we are unaware of as of now. But hey, everything going to come out in open soon. Soon and very soon. And with that, I'm going to move to the book of Galatians, chapter 6, starting at verse 7. Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived, the Most High is not marked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So all these little wicked devices that the devil has come up with, implemented to keep us at a lower state and pretty much to destroy us. Hey, the, the hole they have dug for, dug for us, they're going to fall in it. Verse 8, For he that soars to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. See, these devils are, they are fleshly beings. They are carnal. And we know what carnality brings, destruction. But he that soars to the spirit, shall of the spirit reap life everlasting, everlasting. And that's what we sow into. That's why we are here on these highways, highways, byways, and hedges. Hey, we out there in the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, Striving 
for salvation and deliverance. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. And we, you know, it's, it's, it's a joy to be able to go out on the corners and highways and hedges and byways and bring forth these messages that the Most High have the, has commanded us to do. I'm, I'm almost, well, I'm willing to say that we know that at some point in time it's going to be a famine of the word. I know they're going to, it's going to be sort of pressing for me when that day comes. Because coming at this, you know, coming to this true knowledge of the scripture, uh, late in my life, I, I'm a, I feel like there's not enough that I can do for the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And that I haven't put in enough time and effort to show how grateful I am for His blessing. And with that, I'm going to move to the book of Galatians, chapter 6. Verse 9, read that again. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not, if we endure unto the end. Aki and Agua, if we can just endure to the end. Verse 10, as we have therefore opportunities, let us do good unto all men, and especially unto them who are of the household of faith. That's, us true, that's the true sisters and brothers that's striving in this true, the same true doctrine to the best of their, to their ability. Those are the household of faith. Those are our sisters and brothers that are striving for the same truth. And with that, I'm going to move to the book of Isaiah chapter 46 verse 4 Isaiah 46 verse 4 and even to your old age I am he you know that scripture there really hit home with me coming into this truth at the age of 62 I look back on my life and think of all the different situations that the Most High brought me through to bring me to this stage in my life. You know, I've, I I can come up with some scenarios where I know I was in walking in the valley of the shadow of death. During the time I was in the military, and even the time that I was, hey, just nonchalant, you know, in this wicked society, you know, living in sin. So imagine the things that I don't know about. And the most high allowed me to carry on in this in this society, you know been a reprobate for 62 years. A lot of people don't even get to live that long, much less alone come to this truth. And then once again, I'm going to start at the book of Isaiah chapter 46, verse 4. And even to your old age, I am he. I mean, the most high, he was there all the time. You know, he never changed. And even to whore's hell will I carry you. You know, like I said, I came to the truth at the age of 62. And I've been in the truth now going on look, six and a half years, I would say. Almost seven years. And when I came into the truth, I was fully gray, balding, 
arthritis, <laughs> and the list go on and on. But the most high had me in his eye. You know, he was, I guess, I will, I, well, I would say that he was there all the time. He was just waiting on me. And once again, I'm going to start at Isaiah 46, verse 4. And even to your old age, am I am he. And even to the whore's hair, gray hair, will I carry you. I have made and I will bear. Even I will carry and I will deliver you. And that's the most high saying that. He put up with all those wicked and sinful things that I did for 62 years. But he was still willing to forgive me and bring me back to his good grace. And I can't thank him enough. And with that, I'm going to drop down to chapter 46, verse 5. To whom will you liken me? Can you think of anybody that will let you trample over them for 62 years and still forgive you? I don't know nobody on the face of the earth would do that. And make me equal. Who, what? What? God, uh, what materialistic object or uh, currency that is equal to the most high? What would you choose over, over him? I can't think of anything that's more precious than the power that we serve. And compare me that we may be like. Is there anything that you can compare to the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai? I don't think so. And with that scripture, I'm going to close out by saying all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikakadash. I'm going to say double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, found out, well, apostles and elders of GMS, and all the aqua and aqua. They're striving in the same true doctrine also. I'm going to say Shalom, Kram Yasharala, and Abar Gabar. Shalom.